Okay, time for DIY project number 30, and we have another box guitar kit here. If you remember back to project 15, I built the Tin Pan Alley kit, which I had gotten for a Christmas present. Um, and that was my first uh, guitar kit that I've done. Um, this one now, this is my ninth homemade string instrument. Um, only that one and, and this one are from kits, but it's kind of funny that 15 and 30 uh, were kits, just kind of odd. Um, but this is also from CB Giddy, and uh, the other one, I, the, the Tin Pan Alley I got from my sister for a Christmas present, and this one I got from both of my sisters for a birthday present. Um, they pitched together and got me this, so let's take a quick look here. It has the leaf um, sound holes there. This is actually an acoustic kit, um, but I decided to convert it to electric, which is funny because I did the same thing on the Tin Pan Alley, and I used a Delta Bucker there, and you can see the jack there. Um, also, it came with a maple bridge. I used a rosewood stain on that to make it look like a rosewood bridge so that it matches the uh, pickup. Um, I did a, a golden oak stain on all the other wood parts and they're varnished so they've got a nice shine and seal to them. Up here on the headstock, um, I put a little leaf charm. I actually got this at a jewelry making store. It's just a little leaf charm, but it, it fits the uh, kind of autumn motif. The top here, um, is actually um, a um, satin paint. What the heck is this called? Harvest Orange Satin. And uh, so I used a satin because that was the color I wanted, but I didn't want a satin. So then I sprayed it with a clear clear coat, a gloss clear coat. And so it looks like it's a glossy uh, paint. But um, that's kind of how this one went together. The kit was really nice. A couple criticisms on the kit. Um, very minor, by the way. This bottom piece here, this piece here, you can see, is uh, goes all the way through the box and then the neck just bolts onto that as you can see um, but this piece was just a little bit too big to fit through the hole in the box and i was going to rasp out that hole um but uh, i thought it'd be easier to just sand this down so i sanded it down maybe about a 30 second of an inch not much at all but then it went in um, just fine so it was just a little bit too big uh, another thing up here on the headstock you see how i put two screws in there those are not part of the kit but when I put it together, those strings were running into each other, like right here by these lower tuners. You can see even with the screws there, they barely have clearance. So I put those screws in to just keep those from, you know, kind of binding on each other um, and causing tuning problems. So I added those two screws myself that you see there. Other than that, this kit was really easy to put together. Uh, one other criticism on this pickup, this is the Delta Bucker four string pickup, made for four string cigar box guitars. Let me see if I can get an angle here, I think like that. You can see that not one of the pole pieces lines up with the strings. The pickup is like way too wide if you're using a standard one and a half inch uh, neck here, which is what pretty much everybody uses. So I'd like to see them, you know, redo that pickup so the pole pieces are closer together. I actually didn't realize it till I got it that they were so far apart. Now that said, it doesn't seem to affect anything. It sounds really good. Um, plugged in and it sounds actually really great acoustic as well um, One other thing that I did back here on the bridge. Let me turn her around here back here on the or on the tailpiece. Excuse me um, You see there's those three screws that go through uh, When I hooked this up and I tested it, you know in the garage with the fluorescent lights and I was getting a little bit of hum because uh, the pickup comes with the jack pre-soldered and uh, I was getting a little bit of hum from the lights and stuff so I figured it probably needed some better grounding so right here underneath this tailpiece, and I know you can't see it right now, but I drilled another hole and I fed a, a ground wire through so it grounds against the tailpiece here. And then I, I soldered that to the uh, ground on the jack just to get rid of any excess noise. So that keeps it nice and quiet. Um, but it sounds, it actually sounds really good. This is a really nice kit. I'm very pleased with it overall. Um, CD Giddy seems to be making some really great kits. Both of them that I put together went together very easily. Um, both of them I modified, of course, but they both had some, uh, you know, some pretty easy to follow directions and such. So um, let's do a little sound sample. Hey there, if it looks like I'm not in my usual spot that I did in these videos, that's because I'm not. I'm actually in a hotel room and I am in York, Pennsylvania, just up the street from the York Emporium, which is where the Pennsylvania Cigar Box Guitar Festival will be held tomorrow morning. Uh, so I made it out, the trek out here and I figured what better time to demo the... Uh, the mountain tenor then right up the street from the Cigar Box Guitar Festival. Mm -hmm. 